Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another CD to play for you. Today's CD is Superman Story 25 from 1940. So let's get started. Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Now, Superman. Strange visitor from another world who has come down to Earth as the champion of the weak and the oppressed. When we last saw him, Superman, in his character of Clark Kent, was in the library of Stone House in the suburb of Brentwood, attempting to revive Dr. George Haven Beach, a world-famous scientist and explorer who had been struck by a poison dart that came through the window. Outside in the dark, mysterious brown figures from the jungles of South America are besieging Stone House in an attempt to recover the sacred emerald of the ancients. Dr. Beecham brought back from his latest expedition. Elsie, the doctor's daughter, has vanished, and so has his native servant, Zingri. As our story continues today, an hour has passed. The taxi driver whom Superman found on the ground has fled in terror to the cellar. Dr. Beecham is rapidly recovering as Kent sends anxiously over him. Two o'clock, doctor. It'll be daylight in another couple of hours. How are you feeling? I'm all right. I, I'm quite all right. But Elsie, Kent, where's my daughter? Doctor, I, I don't know. Out there somewhere, Kent, they've got her, those murderous natives. I don't think so, Doctor. I don't know where she is, but I don't think they've got her. That, that, that taxi driver, where's he? Scared out of his wits. He's down in the cellar. Kent, the door, they're trying again. Block it up. Stay back, Doctor. Can't handle this. What are you doing, man? Don't open it. Oh, wait. Hey, Doctor, did you hear that? Elsie, your daughter.
trying to get the emerald back. He has a land in him, Betsy. For thousands of years, literally, it's been the most sacred idol of the tribe. Dr. Beecham, how in the world did you get it? I stole it. Did you say you stole it? I had to. It was the only way. I had to have that emerald. You can imagine what it might be worth in the gems. Millions, at least. Probably, but entirely beyond the money value, which I don't care a bit about because I need to give it back eventually. It has another value, completely beyond the price. Edith, I don't understand. Let's see. Thousands of years ago, the ancestors of the Azaban were one of the great nations of the earth. They were called the Immortal People because they held the Emerald God. I don't know much about them. Don't you know that? Go on, Doctor. Dad. What did the emerald have to do with it? That's what we've never been able to find out. That is the great secret. Do you remember Ponta de Leon? The Spanish explorer? Well, he, he tried to find the Fountain of Youth. Yes, just so. He has scholars and rumors. He, he heard of the secret and he tried to find it. But he failed. And where he failed, I hope I may have succeeded. Good heavens. Dr. Beecham, you, you can't mean it. I can't. In some way, I... Secret is wrapped up in that emerald card. The secret of the full light. The light without any of the thoughts that trouble us today. Without, without grief, without envy, without hatred. Possibly the secret of life itself is hidden in that stone. Doctor, what, what can you do with it? Every inch of that little statue is covered with engravings, ancient writings. And you're trying to decipher those writings? Yes, I'm trying. See, so far I have not succeeded, but I intend to keep on working. Yes, but doctor, it's too dangerous. You can't possibly keep on working. Oh, can't you ever understand? If I can unlock that secret, the secret of the immortal, imagine what it will mean, not for me, but for the whole human race. Ted, what is it? What is the secret? Let's see, I have any idea. It may be just a formula, a secret of chemistry or physics, something that I must have discovered once and Lost. You're sure it's contained in the carvings of the statue? Well, what else? If not, why did the old tribes guard it so carefully? They knew too much for plain idol worship. Did you say the emerald was in a safe upstairs? Yes. Would you like to see it? Doctor, if I were you, I'd leave it there. We still don't know what's going on outside. He may be right, Dad. You haven't decided yet how you're going to go on tomorrow and the next day. What you're going to do from now on. He is right. Things can't go on like this. What about calling in the police, Doctor? Or taking the emerald to a museum and working on it there? Dad, what's the matter? Let's see, Doctor. Oh. I've got a hit. What heaven is that? That was an explosion. Upstairs! Doctor, it was in that room! Quick! Oh, Dad, be careful! It's safe! They've blown in the side of the house! Oh, look! Look, the whole second floor is coming down! Doctor, look out! Come back! Doctor! The stairway is blocked off! We can't get up that way now! Quick, the back stairs! We may head them off! Go ahead, Doctor! You and your daughter try the other way! I'll stay here! You two may not be able to get through here, and Clark Kent might not be able to either. But Superman can, and it's time he tried. The whole upper floor has come right down the staircase. Ceiling and all. It won't take long to clear out a little thing like that. Kent! Kent, where are you? Oh, Dad! Doctor, look! They're getting away! 
away and I don't have gyro. Look, up there. Rising over the trees from the grounds of Stone House is a weird, ungainly object. Huge propeller whirling, descending almost vertically in the night air. As the brown men from the dark jungle made off with the emerald of the Incas, is the secret of the immortal people lost beyond recall? Or will Superman recover it? Be with us again next time and follow the story. And remember, be sure to tune in the next thrilling installment of the amazing transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look! It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. <laughs> Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine. So that was Superman Story 25 for 1940. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Have a groovy day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.